Hello, everybody, and happy Wednesday night. Welcome to After Further Review. I'm your host, Steve Tower, and tonight we are taking a first look uh, and a playthrough of Season Ticket Baseball, a game designed by Clay Dreslow. Uh, and uh, everything that you're seeing here tonight is available as a, uh, a free download. Uh, so, uh, with that in mind, let's do a quick overview of the game, and then we're going to jump right into um, a, uh, a World Series that almost happened uh, back in 1986. A couple of uh, lucky bounces here and there, um, or not so lucky bounces, I guess. Uh, we could have could have seen this World Series play out. Um, so, uh, let's take a closer look at the cards. Uh, and then we will uh, get to our first pitch. Uh, and welcome uh, to uh, to the man himself, Clay Dreslow, who just became our most recent AFR member. Welcome, Clay. Thank you for your support. Uh, so, uh, and as Dave Gardner has joined us in the chat room, and uh, Charles H. in the chat room as well. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Uh, so, let's take a close look here uh, at the pitcher cards. Here is... Um, Nolan Ryan, um, and here's the sheet of uh, the uh, Houston Astros pitchers. Uh, you can see his uh, his batting traits up in the top left corner here. Uh, but what we're mostly going to be focusing on is uh, the columns in the center. Uh, so this game uses three dice, a, a D6 and then two D10s uh, that will generate uh, a result between 100 uh, and 699 uh, most of the time there might be some pluses <laughs> added as we get fatigue uh, and any results in the 100 200 range are going to come off of this pitcher card here here in the 100 and then the 200 range uh, and then we'll take a quick look at a batter card uh, here we see Don Baylor and Wade Boggs uh, Don Baylor not in the starting lineup tonight but maybe we'll see him as a pinch hitter uh, you see his uh, batting traits there up near the top. Uh, then his uh, defensive ranges. Uh, and in the top right-hand corner, uh, you see a uh, defensive result. So uh, when we get 500 results, uh, if it is uh, between 510 uh, and 599, they're going to actually come off of the defensive player uh, based on what the lead number is. Uh, and it corresponds to their fielder um, on the field. Um, so their position on the field, rather. So a first baseman is position number three, um, if you're scoring at home. So anything from 530 to 539, the result is going to come off of whoever is the first baseman. So if Don Baylor was playing at first, uh, say a result of 532 would give us a three unassisted play, um, but a 534 ball will get past them for a single. Uh, and then in the middle of the card, you'll see uh, the ranges between 300 and 499. Uh, these will be the batting results. So anytime that the, uh, the D6 is a three or a four, we're gonna be looking at the batter card. And now we will go back to our screen here. And when we get 600s, uh, we are gonna go to the ballpark. Uh, so tonight we are heading down to the Dome, the Astrodome in Houston, uh, for game one of our What If series. Uh, so you see any rolls uh, that are in 600 uh, are going to come off of this chart. Uh, and now you can only roll 699 on our dice here, but as a pitcher gets fatigued or if the home team is batting, uh, we will be adding numbers to that roll. Uh, and really that is kind of all you need to know. Uh, to jump into the game. Uh, very easy game to, uh, to pick up uh, and get going, uh, but it even does come with a quick start card, um, which I probably will be referring to uh, a couple of times tonight. Uh, this is a, a double-sided card. Uh, and then as well as some offensive and uh, defensive strategies, um, such as batting, uh, bringing the infield in on the defense. Uh, we probably won't be doing... Uh, too many of the advanced things. Maybe we'll have a couple of bunts, um, but those things are there, uh, as well as an optional weather chart here on your ballpark card. 
All right, so uh, with that preamble out of the way, um, I forgot to turn my do not disturb on. There we go. All right, uh, we will get underway. All right, so um, the National League will be the home team for our series. Uh, in real life, this was uh, in Shea with the Mets, uh, but in my what-if scenario, I imagined that the Astros held on to win game six, and then Mike Scott got the start uh, and shut down the Mets in uh, game seven to uh, to win the, the pennant. Um, all right, let's see. Somebody's saying that the mic is quiet. Um, I can turn that up a little bit. <laughs> Anybody that was here Monday, uh, I don't know what happened with my microphone, but um, <laughs> thank you to everybody that stuck with me on Monday night. Uh, basically, I just I had to reboot my computer yesterday, and I think that fixed everything. So, uh, so here we go. Nolan Ryan up on the mound, getting warmed up. Uh, oh, thank you, Clay, um, for confirming the mic volume. Uh, and Wade Boggs, the chicken man, going to lead things off. All right, so we'll roll our three dice. Um, it, the game suggests using a, a red D6 uh, and a white and a blue uh, D10. Uh, and then kind of you can remember to read them in red, white, and blue order. Um, but you can substitute any of the colors that you'd like. But it just you need a, a D6 and two D10s. Uh, and the, uh, the D10s, anytime you roll a, um, a zero, it does indeed count as a zero. Uh, I know there's been... D and D has been in the news a lot, <laughs> so uh, but we will not be reading them like that. So we're underway. Ryan kicks and delivers, and here we go. All right, so we'll read this result as a two two four, uh, which means we're going to be reading it from Nolan Ryan's card. Now the uh, the two hundred results on the pitcher card are have the better splits. Uh, so with Boggs batting from the left side, we'll be reading this first column here on the 200s. So a 2-2-4 two, two, uh, is actually going to be a walk. Um, and right away we see the difference in the splits. If that had been a right-handed batter, Ryan would have struck him out. But Wade Boggs, the crafty third baseman, will get on with a leadoff walk. The Ryan Express off to a rough start. Uh, and now that will bring up Marty Barrett playing at second base tonight and batting second for the Sox. All right, so our first 500 roll, uh, a 563. Um, <laughs> I'm just chuckling at the, uh, the old ears <laughs> comment. I had a a comment at work today from one of my younger co-workers that made me feel really, really old. Um, so a uh, 563 means that we're going to look at the shortstop results. Uh, playing at short tonight for your Houston Astros is Dickie Thon. Uh, so we see a 563. Uh, oh, he's just going to miss out on turning a double play. Uh, and he is going to have to just throw on to first uh, to get... Uh, the one out, but Boggs will move in to uh, to second base, and I believe that I played that right. That a yeah, ground out, runners advance, one base. Okay, so Boggs into scoring position, and Barretts is out on the six three, and that'll bring up Bill Buckner. Batting third and playing at first base tonight for the Sox. Uh, let's see if he can drive in that run. And we have our first 600 result. Uh, ooh, and it's a pretty high one. 681. Uh, oh, darn. Um, it's going to be a bloop single. Um, so... Uh, Unfortunately for the Sox, uh, this is another one of the cool little um, uh, perks of the game here, uh, the differentiation between hits. Um, so on a bloop single, uh, when there's less than two outs, the runners are only going to advance one base because they have to hold 
um, to make sure that the ball is not caught. Whereas if there were two outs, they're going to be running on contact. So Boggs would have scored uh, on if there was two outs, but because there is only one, he will uh, have to hold at third base. So we got runners at the corners for the cleanup hitter, Jim Rice. Playing in left field tonight, and let's see if the Sox can do some damage here uh, on the in the first inning. And we are going to go to oh boy, we're going to go to the the dome chart again. This time we got a 685. Uh, let's see, and that is going to be a first base, uh, so a single plus plus. Uh, and so on the plus plus results. Uh, you can see here that that means uh, that runners on second and third will score. Runners on first will go to third base. So Rice with a long single, he is going to score Boggs. And Buckner will motor over to third base. And we've got our first run of the game. And the Ryan Express starting to sweat out there on the mound. All right, as, uh, let's see, Keith Helsinki has joined us in the chat room. Welcome, Keith. Uh, and Cleveland Baseball fan has joined us as well. Uh, and uh, Jim Woods in the chat room. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Hope you're having a, a good week so far. Appreciate you stopping by here to check out Season Ticket Baseball. Uh, and the designer of the game, uh, Clay Dreslow, is in the chat room. Uh, so if anybody has any um questions or comments this is a, a great opportunity <laughs> to talk to the designer of the game uh all right so now dewey evans uh coming up to bat uh and we have a 300 result so this is going to come from uh, the first column on the batter card so a 346 oh and evans is going to go down swinging ryan with some high cheese and gets a very important second out. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, poor Robin Ventura. A comment in the chat room. Somebody saying it's too bad that Robin Ventura is not playing. Um, indeed. All right, so now two outs. Runners at the corners. Uh, and Rich Gedman, the catcher, will step up to the plate. Can Ryan dance out of this? With just one run scored. Uh, 390 is the result. And oh boy. So uh, the result is a, um, a 363 double play. Um, but since there are two outs, uh, they will just get the, um, they'll take the out at first base. So the 360, yeah, it'll just be a three unassisted for the third out. And so Ryan, uh, what looked like it was going to be a disastrous first inning. Uh, gets away with just the one run off of two hits and two runners stranded. It is Boston 1 and Houston coming up to bat. All right, uh, and here comes the Rocket, Roger Clemens. And he is going to face off against uh, Bill Doran. will be leading things off. Uh, Bill Doran, an interesting player, side note for any baseball <laughs> historians, um, he, uh, he was fifth place in his Rookie of the Year season. Uh, he actually got MVP votes three years in a row, and including in 1986, uh, he was the 11th place MVP. Um, and then he kind of fell off. He was actually a throw-in as part of a trade. Uh, to one of my favorite teams, the 1990 Cincinnati Reds, um, where he um, didn't really do much, but he did get a ring uh, with the Reds uh, that season, uh, along with one of his teammates here that we will see in just a sec, Billy Hatcher. All right, so here we go. Roger Clemens, he winds and deals to Doran. We get a 485. Uh, 45 on Doran. He is against a right-hander, so he is going to fly out to center field. There's nobody on base, so we don't need to worry about uh, the pluses. If somebody had been on base, uh, it would have been deep enough uh, for someone to tag up and advance. All right, so now here comes Billy Hatcher. Uh, Hatcher playing in center field, batting seconds. 
uh, Hatcher, uh, as we were just talking about, he would later go on in 1990 to um, play for the Reds, uh, and he would set a record for the most consecutive hits in a World Series. Um, the only thing that stopped his streak was he got plunked on the hand in Game 4 uh, against the A's and had to be um, taken out of the game. All right, so here we go. Clemens to Hatcher, uh, a 198, uh, and that is going to be just a little blooper uh, over the uh, the shortstop's head and into left field. And the Strohs have their first hit of the game. And now here comes Phil Garner, the veteran Phil Garner. This is his age 36 season. Um, and let's see, with um, Hatcher at... Second, why don't we we'll take a look at stealing. So, because Hatch is a decent um, runner here in his age 25 season. He had uh, 38 stolen bases. Uh, so first, we need to see if um, he can establish a lead. Uh, and that will give him a, uh, a leg up, if you will, uh, if, um, if he does steal. So what we're going to do, we're going to look at his steal rating, which is a 6, and we're going to add that to two D10s. Uh, and again, zero is kind of zeros. Oh, but it's um, so 17 plus 6 is going to be 23. Uh, and then we look at the hold rating for Clemens. He has a 6. We add 10 to that. So uh, 23 is definitely higher uh, than 16. Uh, so Hatcher will get a lead. So what that means is um, he's going to... He'll try to steal, and he'll get to roll all three dice. If he did not have the lead, um, you would only roll the D10s. So here we go, um, and he is trying to beat the arm now of uh, the catcher, Gedman. Gedman with an arm rating of 6, and we will add 10 to that. So Hatcher trying to beat uh, or equal 16. So uh, steal rating of 6. And oh no, oh boy, he got a, a bad jump and only adds two. Oh boy, so he is going to get easily gunned down by Gedman. Uh, a bad choice there. So Gedman guns down Hatcher, and so much for that. Now there are two out with the bases empty. Uh, and Phil Garner still up at the plate. All right, uh, and now we roll to 561. So we're going to be looking at uh, the shortstop for the Sox, which is Spike Owen. Uh, 561 uh, is going to be a ground out. So 6 3 if you're scoring at home, and that will do it. Um, no runs, one hit, nobody left on, and at the end of one, Boston won, and Houston nothing. All right, so there we go. Uh, and the way that we did that stealing um, is how we would do any uh, challenges. So if there's ever um, an instance where somebody's at second base or third base trying to tag up on a... Um, a fly out to um, one of the outfielders. It would be the same kind of process. Um, you'd do a challenge against the arm of the outfielder. So they all work um, pretty similar. Uh, and once you know what you're doing, they go by pretty fast. So, uh, all right, here we go. Dave Henderson uh, coming up to bat, playing in center field for the Sox and batting seventh. And we're going to roll 450. 450 uh, against a righty is going to be a deep fly to center field. But the dome will hold it. And there's one out. Now here comes Spike Owen. Made a play to end the last inning. And he's going to roll a 401. And he is going to draw a walk. The second walk of the night. Given up by the Ryan Express, and that will bring up the pitcher spot. Uh, and let's do a bunt. Clemens, not known for <laughs> his, his batting skills, so why not see if we can get a runner into scoring position. 
Um, so all we're going to do, we're going to roll all three dice, add them together, add them to the bunt rating, uh, and then look at the chart here. All right, so Clemens with a bunt rating of 1, uh, 4, 8, uh, 13. Uh, oh, and he is going to foul off two attempts. So now he has two strikes. Uh, so uh, we look down here. Uh, we can try to keep the bunt on. Uh, and if we get that same result again, it'll be a strikeout. Um, or there are some other... Um, adjustments um, if we decide to swing away. Uh, I think we're gonna, well, I don't know, we got the lead. We'll uh, we'll let him swing away. We'll take the bunt sign off just to see what happens. And I don't think there's there will be any adjustments now. Uh, so we roll a 4-10. Uh, so that means we're gonna look at the pitcher batting card. Uh, the I rating of Clemens, he has a three. So to do a three and a four ten is going to be oh boy yep yeah, the six four three ground out, <laughs> which is what we were trying to avoid, but there we go so inning ending double play. After Clemens could not get the bunt down, and it remains one to nothing as we head to the bottom half of the inning, but the Sox will have the top of their order coming up in the next inning. Um, yes, Clemens not known for his bunting skill either. <laughs> Very true. All right, so here we go in the bottom of the second, the four, five, and six batters coming up. So Glenn Davis, uh, the slugging first baseman for the Strohs. We get a 148. We'll read that from Clemens' card, and that is going to be a strikeout. That is the first K of the night for the Rockets. One down, nobody on for Kevin Bass. Uh, Kevin Bass playing in right field tonight for the Strohs. And a 4-19. Uh, let's see. That's going to be a ground out to the first baseman. Two quick outs. Base is empty for the left fielder, Jose Cruz. Um, as Grant Bachoco joins us in the chat room and leaves a super chat. Thanks, Grant. Hope everything is well out on the, the West Coast. Appreciate you stopping by. Appreciate your support. Uh, let's see here. 392. We're going to read that from Jose Cruz's card. Uh, 392 is going to be a grounder right to the first baseman, and Buckner will take it to the bag himself for the out. So three up, three down. Nothing doing. Red Sox still on top. One to nothing as we head to the top of the third. We'll take a quick beverage break. And get right back underway. All right, so the batting order flipping over for the Sox. Uh, Boggs drew a walk and came around to score on a rice single back in the first inning. 538, so he's going to ground to the first baseman. So we'll look at Glenn Davis's card. A 38. Uh, oh, unfortunately, that's going to get by him uh, for a single. And we can take a second. Um, so anytime you see um, a outfielder in parentheses, that means that the... Um, the runners have a chance, if they wanted to, they could try to challenge uh, that fielder in advance of base. But Boggs, um, <laughs> not known for his speed on the base baths, uh, he will just happily take his single and stay at first. All right, so that'll bring up Marty Barrett. Uh, Barrett ground to short, a hard grounder to short that actually advanced Boggs and got him into scoring position. Uh, let's see, this is going to be, oh, this is going to be another shot to the shortstop. So Dickie Thong, uh, 563. Oh, and it's going to be the same result. How about that? Uh, <laughs> so another hard grounder. And Thong's only throw is to first base to get the out. So one down, but now a runner in scoring position for Buckner. 
Buckner with a single in his last at bat. Let's see, one five one. Oh, that is going to be a wild pitch. Ryan uncorks a curveball uh, that gets by the catcher, and Boggs is going to scamper into third base. Um, there we go. Oh, Clay, thank you for the clarification on the parentheses. Yep. Uh, so the batter couldn't try to advance on a fielder being a parentheses, but uh, the lead runner could. All right. All right. So uh, Buckner now with a runner at third. Let's see if he can get him in. We're going to go to uh, the the ballpark chart. And a 595 is, oh, it's going to be a walk, which actually is probably one of the better results that the Strohs could have hoped for. But that means that Jim Rice is going to step up to the plate. Uh, Jim Rice, uh, this was his age 32 season. Um, he, uh, he did slug 20 home runs uh, and batted 324, so still a pretty good season for him. Let's see if he can get his second RBI of the evening. Uh, 140, no. He is going to be challenged by a Ryan fastball, and he is going to get blown away. Ryan gets big strikeout for out number two. So now Dwight Evans steps up. Uh, Evans, a strikeout victim, his first at bat. Two runners still out on base. Uh, and we are going to go to the uh, the stadium chart. 575. Oh, no. It's going to be another wild pitch. And that is going to bring in a run. The second wild pitch of the inning. So Buckner into second base. And Boggs scrambles home. Oh, my goodness. All right. Uh, so now Evans with a chance to drive in another run, or to drive in um, the runner from second. Let's see, 316. And no, he will strike out. So Ryan ends up getting two strikeouts on the inning, but a hit, a walk, and two wild pitches leads to the second run coming in. One runner left on. It is 2-0 Boston as we head to the bottom of the third. All right, so here we go. Let's see with the bottom of the order now coming up for the Strohs. Let's see if they can get something going. Alan Ashby, the catcher, will lead things off. 204. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, we're down here. 204. So um, Ashby is a switch hitter, batting from the left hand side. Uh, so now we'll have a chance for one of our redirect results. So you see here. Um, it says 4XX. So what that means is we're going to go to the four results, so on the batter, um, but we're going to keep the um, the white and the blue die. So we're going to look at 404 on Ashby's card, which will be a walk. So the first walk given up by the Rocket, and Ashby is aboard. Now here comes Dickie Thon. He would like to get on himself without creating an out. Let's see what they can do. Uh, ooh, one, two, six is going to be a strikeout. So one out, and the pitcher, Nolan Ryan, now steps up. Uh, Ryan, a little bit better bunter. Um, let's see if he has any more success. His bunt rating a three. So we'll have 3, 4, 9, 10, 11. Oh, and he's going to get the same thing. Uh, he's going to foul it off twice. Uh, so I guess he will swing away as well. Uh, and we end up with a 2, oh, 3. Uh, let's see. Is that going to change anything? Well, um, so it's going to be a... 403 on his card. His I rating is a 2. So, oh, a 403 is actually going to be a ground into a double play. So, both pitchers have failed to, <laughs> to 
put down a bunt, and both have ground into an inning-ending double play. So the leadoff walk doesn't come back to haunt Clemens. Uh, and at the end of three, still 2 nothing, Boston on top. All right. I think I flipped the dice. Oh, really? Oh, oh, um... <laughs> Let's see, wait. It should have been a 216? Let's see, what would that have been? Oh, it would have been a strikeout. Oh, all right, that's not a hard one to, to go back and... All right, so a 216 would have been a strikeout. For the second out. All right. Thanks for catching that, guys. One of the joys of playing live. All right, so we'll go to the top of the order. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, it wasn't on the, uh, the Ryan roll? Huh. Okay. All right. You know what, guys? I think we will just we'll just keep it the way <laughs> I accidentally said it was. All right. Okay, so we'll go to I'll, I'll give the uh, the Strohs a uh, a reroll at some point, maybe later in the game. All right, so top of the fourth. Uh, let's see, and we got the six, seven, and eight batters coming up. Uh, let's see, five, seven, four is the roll. So we're going to go to the left fielder for the Astros, Jose Cruz. Let's see, a 74 is going to be a flyout. He'll track that down with little problems. And uh, that'll be one out. Here comes Dave Henderson. Henderson, a flyout victim, his first time up. And we're going to go to the dome chart. Uh, five, or no, sorry, 698 is going to be a walk. So Ryan has had his issues with control tonight. That'll bring up Spike Owen. Spike Owen uh, drew a walk. His first at bat 356 let's see that is going to give us uh he is going to ground to the second baseman so the runner is going to advance a hard shot into the hole and the only play is to get the out at first so we got two outs a runner in scoring position and roger clemens lumbers up to the plate <laughs> Bob joins us. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. I appreciate that. That I <laughs> and I appreciate the comment that you left on Facebook today. Thank you. Um, all right. So Clemens, let's see if he can help his own cause here. Four ninety-seven. So we're gonna uh, his I rating a three. Um. 497 is going to be a fly out to right field. So at least he gets it out of the infield this time. But it will be a fly out. So nothing doing there in the fourth. Um, the one runner left on. All right. So we will head to the bottom of the fourth inning. And the Strohs have the top of their lineup. Bill Doran coming up. He is 0 for 1 with a flyout. 631 is the roll. Uh, so we'll be at the dome chart. And that is going to be a uh, flyout to short. So Spike Owens will take a couple steps back into the outfield. And snag that for the first out of the inning. Uh, as Dwayne Martz joins us. Welcome, Dwayne. Billy Hatcher coming up. Uh, Hatcher, a single, and then um, a very <laughs> poorly executed 
stolen base attempt, and he was uh, gunned down easily uh, back in the first inning. Let's see, 5.30, so we're going to go to uh, Bill Buckner's card for the 5.30 result. Uh, it would be a double play if somebody was on, but uh, Buckner will just take it himself for the out. Two down, nobody on for Phil Garner. And Garner, a ground out in his first at bat. And 520, so again, we're going to be going to a defensive card. So we're, this time we're looking at the catcher. Uh, Gedman, a 520 uh, is a strikeout. So Gedman frames an outside fastball, gets the call. And one, two, three, go the Strohs. And we'll head to the fifth inning with Boston on top, two to nothing. Uh, and Clemens has himself a one-hitter going. Let's see, one hit uh, and one walk so far. Okay, so now for, uh, for Boston, they are back to the top of the order. All right, and now we need to talk about stamina uh, as Harris uh, Jessup joins us. Uh, so as you can see, Nolan Ryan, he has a stamina rating of four, uh, and we are now in the fifth. So he doesn't automatically become fatigued. Um, however, he is now susceptible to it. So... Um, Anytime he, uh, basically anytime someone gets on base now, he will get a point of fatigue. And that comes into play whenever we roll a 600 result, uh, we will add 10 to the roll um, for every point of fatigue that he has. So it, it, uh, <laughs> it kind of becomes a game of chicken. Uh, sometimes if you get a pitcher, you know, he seems to be doing okay, or maybe you feel like you have a big lead. You're like, ah, he's only got three points of fatigue. What, what's the worst that could happen? And then you roll like a, a 690. Uh, and so anything over a 703 um, becomes a deep drive to center field. So it can become very, very dangerous when you have a powerful batter up there. Uh, all right. So, but for now, Ryan is okay. I'm okay. Uh, 244. Look at Ryan's card. 244 is going to be a strikeout. Ryan says, I don't need your pitch count. Here comes Marty Barrett. Uh, Barrett, 0 for 2, is ground out to short. Both times up. 2-3-2 two, two is the roll. That is going to be another strikeout. And Ryan pushing the sun back up into the sky for one more night here. Uh, this is his age 39 season, though he would <laughs> go on to pitch for... Uh, quite a few more after this one. Uh, and now we got a 2-7-3. So again, we'll look at Ryan's card. 2-7-3 is going to be a... Uh, oh, it's against a lefty. Vince Buckner will be a 3-1 ground out. So 1-2-3. Go the Red Sox. Uh, and it's still 2 nothing as we head into the bottom half of the fifth. So Ryan will not get any fatigue. Um, <laughs> uh, his ID gesture joins us. All right. Uh, let's see. So uh, Clemens, uh, on the other hand, as this is his age 23 season, he has a stamina of six. Uh, so we don't even need to worry about his fatigue for quite a while. Uh, and we are facing the three, four, and five batters. Three, three, nine. Uh, is going to be a deep fly into right field. Uh, but, oh, no, actually, sorry, Phil Garner got the last out of the inning. It's going to be Glenn Davis up. Uh, three, three, nine on his is going to be a ground out to short. So there is one out. Now here is Kevin Bass. Bass 0 for 1 so far tonight. 180 is looking on Clemens' card. 180 is going to be a fly out to left field. Two down. Nobody on for Jose Cruz. Cruz ground out to first. And his only at bat so far. 464. Uh, and that is going to be a fly out to straightaway center field. Henderson has to go back a little bit, but he'll track it down 
couple steps in front of the warning track and one, two, three, go the Strohs. And it is still two to nothing Boston as we head into the sixth inning. All right. So, uh, hope everyone is enjoying the game so far. Um, I do have to say that playing out any game from the 80s is, uh, is like music to my soul. Um, some of the names just <laughs> are really great. So, um, but hope you guys are enjoying this. And uh, again, uh, for anybody who has just jumped in, uh, the designer of the game, Clay Dreslow, is in the chat room. Uh, so if you have a question and I happen to miss it, um, he is right there um, to help you out. So, all right, uh, we have uh, we have Jim Rice coming up to bat. Rice one for two with a single and a strikeout. And let's see, we get a six six nine. So we're going to uh, the dome chart. Uh, six six nine. Um, will be a ground out too short. Um, I don't think we've had any of these results yet. Uh, so if the infield was ever playing in and you get one of these purple results, um, the ball would get by them for a, uh, a single with a, an advancement, uh, but not playing in. Um, so it'll be just a ground out too short. 6-3 if you're scoring at home. One down, nobody on for Dewey. Uh, Evans uh, has not had a good evening so far as he has struck out twice. Uh, let's see. Yes, any game involving Nolan Ryan. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, 420. So we're going to look at his chart. Uh, 420, he's actually going to draw a walk. So he will get on base for the first time. Uh, and that will give us our first point of fatigue for Nolan Ryan. So... Might start getting a little activity. Some pitchers starting to stretch their arms out in the Astros' bullpen. Uh, Gedman up now. 379 is the roll. 379. Oh, no. Well, never mind. That is going to be a 363 double play. The pitcher's best friend. Oh, sorry. 379. I did it again. Didn't I? Oh, no, no. 379. There we go. Yep. Okay. So, no hits, uh, no runs. One runner left on. Uh, still 2 nothing. as we head into the bottom of the sixth inning. And for the Strohs, they got the bottom of their order. So, 7, 8, and 9. So, a chance we might see a pinch hitter here, uh, depending on what happens all right so 408 uh, for ashby is actually going to give him a walk uh, he would have struck out against a lefty but against a righty he will draw a walk so the lead runner aboard tying run comes to the plate and dicky thon uh, thon struck out in his first appearance and we get a three one eight oh Three one eight. Uh, it oh, was going to be a strikeout. Whoops! So first out, and now the pitcher slot coming up. Uh, Ryan has given his team six good innings of work. I think that he is going to come out of the game because they need some offense right now. Uh, let's see. They do have a couple of good uh, lefties off of the bench. Uh, they're going to bring in uh, Denny Walling. He batted 312 with 13 homers on the season. So, get our first pinch hitter. Uh, here in the six. All right, so man on first, one out. Uh, ooh, and we get a one, three, three. Oh, which is going to be a strikeout. Clemens, still, still feeling it here. Still going strong. So, unfortunately, the pinch hitter does not work out for the Strohs. And back to the top of the order for Bill Doran. 
Uh, Doran 0 for 2. Fly out to center and pop out to short. 466 is the roll, uh, and that is going to be just a grounder to first. And Buckner will toss it to Clemens, covering the bag. And that will do it for the sixth inning. No runs, no hits. One runner left on. 2 nothing Boston as we head to the seventh. And we will have our first new pitcher of the game. Let's see. A righty, a switch, and then the pitcher slot. So I guess they'll... Uh, Hmm. We're bringing uh, Larry Anderson to face the bottom of the order. So Ryan is going to go six innings. Uh, gave up oh, just those three hits. It was the walks that really killed him. Uh, let's see. What was it? One, two, three, four. Uh, five walks, two runs. Um, I guess actually the only one of them would be earned because the second one scored on a wild pitch. Uh, let's see. And then he finished with a one, two, three, four, five strikeouts. All right. So Anderson will come in here to start. Uh, the seventh inning facing Henderson. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get some bonus runs here off the uh, the bullpen. Uh, five forty nine. So we're gonna go into the second baseman's card for the Stroh, so Bill Doran, a five, four, nine. Oh no, that is gonna be an error. Took a bad hop on him. And Henderson is gonna reach on the error, E4, our first error of the game. So now Spike Owen coming up to bat. Switch hitter, so he'll bat from the left-hand side here. 570. So we're going to go with the left fielder's card. Jose Cruz, 570 is going to be um, a fly out. And then uh, it has an R3 with the question mark and then the exclamation point, which I believe means that if there was a runner at third, he would have to try to, um, to tag up, I believe is the... Let's see, but we don't have a runner at third. Oh, I might have to go to the, the rule book for that. It's not on the quick results. But anyways, we don't have a runner on, uh, or a runner on third anyways. So a fly out to left field will get us the first out. And we come to the pitcher's slot. Oh boy, Clemens is still going <laughs> really strong. Uh, he has a 2 nothing lead. He's not fatigued, though he will be susceptible to it in the 7th. Uh, and boy, the bullpen <laughs> for the Sox is not fantastic. Um, I think we're going to let him, I think we're going to let him hit. We will, um, we'll try to get another bunt down with him. Get the runner into scoring position. Uh, so it'll be six, seven, eight. Um, oh boy. So it's, <laughs> that's not going to work. So the lead runner is going to be out, uh, and it's to the pitcher. So Clemens needs to challenge the pitcher's arm. Uh, let's see. Uh, and Anderson has an arm or no, is it his fielding? They would be challenging. I think it's his fielding. So let's see. And I don't think he's going to get it. Uh, 13. Oh, speed of zero uh, to, um, to 17. All right. So um, that is going to be a double play then. So it'll be, wow, the second double play he's going to ground into. 
Uh, so it'll be a one, six, three double play. So the error does not come back uh, to bite Anderson. And it is time to stretch here. Um, did I just disc Calvin Trout? <laughs> I know, I know, but I'd, I'd rather wait to bring him in um, in the ninth if I can to avoid Stanley. So, all right, here we go. It is time to stretch from the dome. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanut and cracker jack. I don't care if I ever get back, so let's root, root, root for the home team. Except in this case, if they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. All right, well, there we go. I always enjoy baseball week on the channel because I get to play my ukulele multiple times. So, all right, so here we go. We are into the bottom of the seventh, a tight game here. It is two nothing. Um, and we have not had a score uh, since all the way back in the third inning on a wild pitch uh, from Nolan Ryan, who has now left the game. All right, so Clemens is still in there. Uh, he is now susceptible to fatigue. Uh, as he has passed his stamina rating. But um, for now, he will keep rolling along, hopefully. All right, 505. Oh, so we are actually going to have our first rare play result. Uh, so any results between uh, 500 and 509 uh, means that we will go to the rare play chart. And let me bring that up here. Um, <laughs> um, so uh, we have this handy dandy little flow chart here so we see a 505 uh, tells us that we are just going to go uh, there's uh, nobody on base with no outs so we are going to go to the rare plays on the the next page uh, we will roll all three dice again uh, and we get a 168 I just realized now when I have this up, you guys can't see the dice on that side. I promise you that's what I, I rolled. Uh, 168 is going to be a hit by pitch. Oh, no. Um, batter is hit by pitch. Oh, and thankfully there has not been another hit by pitch. Uh, but so Hatcher did not like that. He took a fastball right to the, uh, right to the rib cage. And uh, he is going to give Clemens a little, uh, a little stare down. Uh, but cooler heads prevail, uh, and he will just take his base without incident. Um, ooh, but unfortunately, that means that Clemens will now have a fatigue, uh, and we are getting into the heart of the order. Um, ooh, boy! All right, so now we will get some. Uh, <laughs> um, action in the bullpen. Sorry, I'm just catching up with the comments on there. Uh, thank you, everybody. I, uh, <laughs> always always appreciate getting the ukulele out. I do not know if I could go on tour with the crew. I, I'd like to, though. Uh, all right, so here we go. Phil Garner coming up. Uh, Garner is 0 for 2 with a ground out and a strikeout. Uh, let's see. So, uh, 617, but because of the fatigue... Uh, we're going to add 10 to it, and then with the home team, uh, we're going to add another 5. Uh, oh, man, so I'm going to have to do math. Uh, so um, <laughs> so it's going to be a 632, all right, which isn't going to really mount to anything. So it's going to be a pop fly uh, to the shortstop for the first out. All right, that'll bring up Glenn Davis. Davis over two on the night as well with a strikeout and a ground out. Uh, let's see, and we get a 209, uh, which means we're gonna go to uh, whoop. we're gonna go to the 400 roll. Uh, so a oh where am I? There we go. Uh, a 409 is actually gonna be a walk. Uh oh. 
And now Clemens starting to sweat out there. And now Kevin Bass, the switch hitter coming up. Oh my goodness. Decision time <laughs> for sure. Uh, let's see. I think they're going to let Clemens face one more uh, batter. Famous last words, I know. Um, and we are going to get uh, Lawler. Or no, uh, I guess we'll get um, uh, Sam Vito ready in the pen to face the lefty coming up next uh, if we don't get out of this here. And then we'll have um, Chiraldi uh, ready as well. All right, here we go. Um, oh, hey, as Robert joins us. Uh, welcome, Robert. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, here we go. Clemens out of the stretch to Kevin Bass. Two on, two run game, one out here in the bottom of the seventh. And it's a 2-0-7, um, oh, which against a switch hitter is going to be a walk. Oh, no, and Clemens has walked. The base is loaded. Oh, my goodness. All right, uh, and so... We are going to make the call to the pen. So Jose Cruz coming up to bat. Um, we'll bring in um, our lefty specialist, uh, Joe Sambito. Uh, oh, boy. And he is coming right into the proverbial fire. Uh, he will come in here in the seventh. And facing Cruz. All right. So Clemens. Goes six and a third. Uh, just that one hit. Oh, man. Um, let's see. But what? One. And he only had one walk before this inning. No, no. So two. Uh, so four walks. One hit batsman. Uh, no runs right now. But he was responsible for everybody on base. And he finished with one, two, three, four, four. Five strikeouts so only 10 strikeouts between Clemens and Ryan um, all right so here we go Jose Cruz against Joe Sambito <laughs> bases full of strows the crowd on its feet what's gonna happen here and we roll a 3 0 2 uh, which is gonna be a strikeout oh boy what a huge huge strikeout by Sambito uh, he comes in and does his job. Uh, let's see. Oh, and actually, it's a switch hitter coming up next. Oh, boy. Do I want to let Sam Pito? <laughs> um, hmm. Let's see. Oh, I think I'm going to let him face uh, Ashby. And then we'll have Chiraldi for the eight. All right, here we go. Base is still loaded, but now two outs. Oh, my goodness. Crowd's still on its feet. Let's see what happens. Zambito gets a sign, kicks, delivers, and it's going to be another rare result. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Let's see. Um, so we will come back to our rare play results. And now with um, the bases loaded... Um, and two outs. Uh, oh, we're slowly just going to use the uh, the main chart here. All right, so here we go. Six thirty six is the roll. Oh, I don't know if I like the sound of that. Six thirty six interference. Oh no. Um, Oh, oh, dribble up the first baseline. Batter collides with the pitcher before he can field the ball. The batter is ruled out for interference. Oh, my goodness. How about that? Alan Ashby with a little dribbler up the line. And as Zambito goes to field it, Ashby runs into him. And he is going to get called out for interference to end the inning. Wow. And leave the bases loaded. It remains 2-0. And we are headed 
to the top of the eighth inning. Oh my goodness, infield drama for sure. Wow, oh my goodness. All right, folks, uh, as we will head to the eighth, Sox clinging to a 2 nothing lead. Yes, who was the plate umpire? I don't know, maybe Joe West was <laughs> on the call for that. Woo, all right. Um, let's see, so... Um, Anderson, uh, he would be susceptible to fatigue um, at this point, but I think we're going to let him stay uh, until somebody gets on, uh, and Charlie Kerfield um, will be ready to go for the Strohs. All right, back to the top of the order, uh, as we have had <laughs> two grounded and double plays from the number nine spot, uh, which led to the... Uh, to Boggs leading off the next inning, at least. Boggs, uh, one for two uh, with a walk, a hit, a strikeout, and a, uh, a run scored. All right, so we get a uh, 465. So off of his card, 465 is going to be a double. Lead off du double for the chicken man. Uh, just the fourth hit of the game. And the Sox are in business to start uh, the eighth inning. All right, and now with Marty Barrett coming up, uh, they are going to make the call to the pen. And here comes Charlie. Tell him Charlie sent you. Uh, so Anderson will go uh, one plus inning pitched. Uh, let's see, one hit. No walks, no strikeouts, uh, and he will be responsible for the runner at second base. All right, so Charlie Kerfield coming in to face Barrett with Boggs at second. And we get a 5-12, so we're reading off of Kerfield's card. Uh, let's see, ooh, a 1-3, I believe, is going to advance... Uh, the runner. Um, yeah, runners will... Okay, so um, so Boggs will make it to third. Uh, and actually, <laughs> that's the, the third time that Barrett has made an out but has advanced the runner. All right. And that'll bring up Bill Buckner. Uh, let's see. Boy, I don't think he walked Buckner to get to Rice. Uh, but maybe they'll play the infield in. Um, oh, there we go. Thank you, Robert. Um, little history note. John Kibler was the home plate umpire for game one of the World Series in 86. Um, so he was the one that called the... Uh, <laughs> Uh, the batter interference. All right, so um, we'll bring the infield in, and uh, Kerfield will pitch to uh, to Buckner. Let's see, two thirty-five, two thirty-five. Um, oh, it's going to be a walk. All right. So maybe setting up a double play. All right, so they'll go back to. Regular depth, trying to get the double play. And here comes big Jim Rice. Jim Rice, um, RBI single back in the first, but then has struck out and ground out. And Kerfield would love to get a ground out here. 348. Uh, oh, it's going to be an infield fly called. Um, and he will pop out to the first baseman for the second out. So runner's still at the corners, now two down. And here comes Dewey, uh, Evans 0 for 2 uh, with two strikeouts and a walk. And we get a 179, 179, ooh, it's going to be a walk. And now the bases are full of Red Sox. And nowhere to put Gedman. Oh boy, and this could get tricky. I don't, well, let's see. 
The Strohs have uh, Frank DePino and Calhoun. Um, which actually, I guess Calhoun's not not terrible. Uh, well, actually, DePino's not terrible either. Hmm. Let's see. Who had the lowest batting average? Oh, there we go. Frank DePino. Yeah, they're going to bring in uh, DePino. Take advantage of their fresh... Um, Bullpen. Uh, so Kerfield will go two thirds of an inning, and now DePino comes in, and he is facing Gedman. All right, so just trying to get out of the eighth inning here with the score. Oh, geez, whoops! Sorry, guys, I forgot to turn off the uh, the rare play. There we go. Sorry, Harris. Um, <laughs> problem with the one-man booth here. I'm, I'm not Vin Scully. I'm doing my own technical work. So. Um, all right. I, I promise you that the, the, I wasn't uh, making up the die rolls. All right. So base is loaded. Uh, DePino facing Gedman. Two out in a two-run game. Uh, let's see. And a 187 is going to be a walk. Oh boy, disaster here for the Stroh's bullpen is now the third walk of the inning will lead to a run coming in. Oh my goodness. Just cannot get this third out, wow. All right, so now Dave Henderson coming up to bat. Can DePino get him out? 4-13. Yes, he can. Uh, he will ground too short. Uh, they will take the force out at second to get the third out. And that finally puts an end to the inning. They actually only get one run after all that. Uh, so one hit, uh, Boggs let off the inning with that double. He finally came around to score. Uh, but it was three walks <laughs> that drove him in. Uh, and actually that run is going to be uh, charged to Anderson. All right, so we will head to the bottom of the eighth. And uh, indeed, we will see uh, Shiraldi come in as uh, Sam Pito does his job uh, back in the, well, he did his job, but he got helped out a little bit um, and uh, kept it a scoreless game. That is crazy. I don't know if I've ever... Uh, had something like that happen with the bases loaded and the third out being called on a batter interference. All right, so here we go. Chiraldi facing uh, Thon. The eight, nine, and one batters do up for the Strohs. Now down by three. Uh, one thirty-two uh, is going to be a strikeout. Young Calvin looking. Confident out there on the mound. He's certainly one of the people that just never uh, never got over <laughs> game six. Um, all right, so with the batter spot due up, uh, they will bring in a pinch hitter. Uh, let's see. Uh, and they are going to bring in... I guess uh, who would be there? Probably at this point, they would just bring in their best hitter, not necessarily the best lefty. Although Reynolds isn't terrible. He's got pretty good speed too, if he can get on base. All right, so they'll bring in Craig Reynolds. Pinch hit here in the eighth. Uh, one out, base is empty. And 
is a 577. So drive into left field. Rice will chase it down. Uh, no, he will not. It is going to fall in. Bounces off the uh, bounces off the wall, and Reynolds is in with a pinch hit double. And is that the spark that the Strohs need? All right, so runner on second. Here comes Bill Doran. Doran, uh, 0 for three on the night. Two flyouts and a ground out. Uh, the rolls two seven two. Oh no! Uh, let's see, a switch hitter. That is going to be a deep drive to right field. All right, let's see. Well, fortunately, Dorn, uh, he only has a power of three. So when we get to the deep drive, um, we add his power, and we're going to roll the two D tens. All right. Uh, oh, question on the scoring app uh, is called uh, Switch Scoreboard. Uh, it's a free app to download, um, and I think you get your choice of one sport. It has, oh, I want to say eight different sports, uh, and then it's just 99 cents, I think. Uh, it's been a while since I've got to, uh, to upgrade it, and then it unlocks all of the uh, all the other scoreboards and takes away the ads. Uh, yeah, pretty cool little app. All right, so here we go. Deep drive into right field, uh, and, and it's going to be, let's see, eight... 9, uh, 12, uh, 15. Uh, oh, thankfully. Uh, and deep drive to right field. All right. Um, is going to be uh, an F9. Oh, if we had a runner at third, he could try to tag up. But he's not. So just a long, loud out into right field. Whew. For the second out of the inning. All right. You could hear the stadium going, ooh. <laughs> All right. So that comes to Hatcher now. Two out, man on second, a three run game. The Astros running out of chances. And we get a four, two, one. Uh, oh, and he is going to get plunked. Oh, no. <laughs> He's going to get plunked for the second time. Hatcher not happy at all. But, again, cooler heads will prevail. And that means that the tying run is going to come to the plate. And Phil Garner, oh, my goodness, can Chiraldi get that third out? And let's see, and it's going to be another rare play. Or no, no, sorry, it's not. 570, so we're going to go to uh, the left fielder. Uh, so, uh, Rice. And, oh, thankfully, a 570 is going to be just a fly out. Rice will track this one down. For the third out. Okay. So, another couple runners stranded. And the Astros only have three outs left to make up the deficit. They will need a, another pitcher here um, as we start the, uh, the ninth. Uh, we've got, uh, let's see, a switch hitter and then the pitcher slot. So... Well, I guess at this point they'll bring in their they'll bring in their closer, Dave Smith, just to try to keep it close. Get a quick three out. All right, here we go. Uh, Spike Owens leading things off. Uh, Spike has walked uh, and flown out twice. And let's see, this will be another rare play. Five oh six. So, and we get a 367 on the rare play. 367. Uh, first base. Um, let's see. If the white die is higher than the center fielder's fielding, the batter advances the second base. Ooh. Um, 
So in center field is Hatcher. Uh, his oh his fielding is a seven. Wow. Okay. Uh, so no. So Hatcher is gonna get on his horse uh, and keep that ball in front of him and hold uh, Spike to a single. So nice play by Hatcher. All right, and we are into the pitcher spot. So um, we will bring in our designated pinch hitter, Don Baylor. Hold that for Schiraldi. And let's see if he can get something going. And we get a two, three, six. Uh, two, three, six will be a strikeout. He will not get something going. He'll get Dave Smith going. All right, so one down. Runner at first, back up the top of the order. Boggs having himself a night. He has scored three times, uh, has two hits, a walk, and a strikeout. Done a little bit of it all. Uh, and we get a 539. Oh, that's handy. Um, Let's see, so 539, oh, it's actually gonna be an error on Glenn Davis at first. Second fielding error of the evening for the Strohs. So an E3, we'll put runners at first and second with one down. Here comes Marty Barrett. Oh, gosh, I even tried to mentally remind myself to turn that off. There we go, all right, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll work on something else for next time. Maybe I'll print out the <laughs> the sheets. All right, here we go. Marty Barrett. Uh, let's see. Marty Barrett. Oh, he is... Well, he's 0 for 4, but he's advanced a runner um, three times. <laughs> uh, and two of the times has led to a run being scored. So, Or no, actually, all three times has led to a run being scored. So it's a team sport. Uh, all right. 458, so off of Barrett's chart, 458 uh, is, ooh, is gonna be a grounder to second, um, but they're only gonna get the force at second. So, um, so Boggs will be out on the force, Barrett will reach on the fielder's choice, and Owens will go to third. So there are two outs, runners at the corners for Bill Buckner. And let's see if he can get an insurance run in. Uh, this will be another check on defense. So going to the third baseman. So Phil Garner's uh, a 550 will just be a ground out uh, to third. So he'll throw on uh, and get the, uh, the force at second to end the threat. All right. So, uh, no runs, one hit, and two left on. Three to nothing as we head to the bottom of the ninth inning. All right, so we have got the four, five, and six batters coming up. And here comes, God help us, Bob Stanley to lock down the save. Um, and we are also... Going to bring in uh, Dave Stapleton. He will come in to play at first base. And Buckner will get a nice round of applause from everybody who traveled down to Houston for him. So, all right, here we go. Stanley facing Davis, three run game. Red Sox trying to take one on the road. One five nine. Oh, one five nine is going to be a bloop into left field, and Davis is aboard with a leadoff single. <laughs> Thank you. I, I thought I thought somebody would appreciate that. Uh, bringing in Stapleton. Uh, here comes Kevin Bass. And, uh-oh, uh, 687. Uh, let's see, first base plus plus means that um, that Davis is going to advance to third on the hit. And we're going to have runners at the corners. 
<laughs> Nobody out. Oh, no. All right. Come on, Stanley. You can do it. Let's see. Uh, 637. That is going to be uh, a fly out to shallow center field. Uh, let's see. So one down. Runners at the corner still. Uh, here comes the switch hitting catcher, Alan Ashby. Um, uh oh, did I read the dice wrong again? Um, time for Heidi. All right, uh, let's see. Alan Ashby up. Uh, oh boy, six. 82. Oh, no. Uh, that is going to be a single. And that is going to score the run. And we will have runners at first and second. Stanley gives up his third hit already. Uh, and just one out. So that means that the, the winning run is going to be... Oh, no. Um... Oh, 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 yeah. Um, thanks, Clay. Sorry. Um, I forgot. When we go to the 600 rolls, uh, plus five um, for the home team. But thankfully, that wouldn't have changed the result where I was. So Okay. All right. So Dickie Thon coming up. Uh, Thon uh, has struck out three times. Let's see. Would they want to... Well, they've already used... Ooh, they're best pinch hitters, and they got the pitcher slot coming up. All right, so they're going to leave Thon in. Come on, Stanley. One, two, five is going to be a fly out to right field for the second out. And here we go. One out away. Uh, so we'll bring in a pinch hitter. Let's see. Um, the only lefty they have left is Terry Pohl. Or no, sorry, they have um, their backup catcher, too. Although, they're not going to bring in him. Huh. Uh, Walker or uh, Pankovitz? I guess Pankovitz is their best hitter. Uh, Pole has more power. Well, I guess they'll, they'll, play the, they'll play the odds. It's what good managers do. Um, so, Pole will come in to pinch hit... Here in the ninth. All right, here we go. Two-run game. Two on, two out, bottom of the ninth. Stanley gets the sign. He kicks, delivers. 342 is the result, and that is... Oh, no, it's going to be an infield single. Are you kidding me? Oh, a Baltimore chop is going to load the bases. Uh, that's the second pitch hit single of the evening for the Strohs. And here comes Bill Doran. <laughs> We're not out of this yet. Oh, boy. All right, so here we go. Stanley Wines delivers uh, two, five, nine... Oh my God, that is going to be a deep drive uh, to right field. Doran <laughs> with a power of three. Here we go, folks. Uh, let's see. Three, four, five, nine. Uh, and what was it? Deep to right field. That is going to be a first base plus result which is going to tie the game. Oh, my goodness. Doran gets a two-run RBI. Uh, and let's see. What was it? Uh, and the... Oh, uh, they could have the runner at first try to... I don't think they're going to. They're going to leave him in scoring position. For the possible winning run. Oh my god. Oh, what? Um, so we are all tied up. Stanley blows the save. Doran with a two RBI single. 
And here comes Billy Hatcher. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> yes, indeed. You cannot make this up. Um, oh boy. Stanley, you're killing me. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get Hatcher and we'll be heading to bonus baseball. Uh, and we get a two, four, six. Uh, oh boy. So we're going to go to uh, five, what would be five, seven, six, uh, which is the left fielder. So Rice, five, seven, six. Oh my goodness, if that had been a seven, that would have been the end of the game. <laughs> but Rice is going to just track it down for a fly out um, for the third out. And there we go. Um, wow. All right. So we are headed to bonus baseball. <laughs> here tonight oh boy um let's see all right so the strohs need to bring in a new pitcher uh and they are down to their last two relievers uh let's see i guess they will bring in uh lopez to come in and start the 10th uh and he will jump right into it uh as it'll be rice evans and gedman do up to bat. Oh my goodness. So Stanley gives up three runs in the ninth inning. Wow. Uh, oh, yeah. Put the man on second. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. We're, we're going to pretend that doesn't exist anymore. Um, or today. All right, here we go. Jim Rice. Let's see. Rice. Uh, one for four on the night with an RBI single way back in the first inning. Uh, and we get a 557. Oh, that's handy. Um, going to Garner, and that is going to be a leadoff single. So Rice gets his second hit of the night. And the lead runner is aboard. Here comes Evans. Uh, let's see, Dewey. Uh, 0 for 2. He struck out twice and he has walked twice. Uh, let's see, 609 uh, is going to be a strikeout. So he will strike out for the third time tonight. It's the hat trick. Uh, here comes Gedman. Uh, the Gedman, he walked in a run, his last at bat, uh, and then 0 for 3. Otherwise, 4, 67. That is going to be a double with the plus sign. Oh, so that means it's a long double. So that means Rice is going to come around to score. All right. Uh, an RBI double for Gedman. And the Sox are back on top here in the 10th. And the Astros extra inning drama continues. All right, uh, let's see. And here comes Henderson. Uh, oh, oh, good. <laughs> I regained, um, <laughs> I regained Dave, Dave's subscription. <laughs> the channel thanks dave uh here comes hendu hendu uh what is he oh boy yeah he is O for well O for two actually i guess because he's uh a walk and reached on an error all right one down one run in and a runner in scoring position uh let's see 569 so we're looking at uh dicky thons and a five six 69. Oh, it's going to be another error. Oh, no. So we'll end up with runners at the corners. The third error of the evening on the Strohs. Whoop, uh, E6 for everybody scoring at home. All right, so runners at the corners for Spike Owen. 
Let's see. Uh, Spike, uh, one hit, a walk, uh, and two flyouts. Let's see if he can get an insurance run here. 271. Ooh, is a 271 going to do it? It's going to be a deep, uh, let's see, a deep drive to right field. Spike Owens with a power of two. Uh, two, four, six is going to be a bloop single. <laughs> All right, uh, so uh, runner will score, and we will end up. Let's see. Actually, um, yeah, runners advance one base. Okay. Um, and we will have runners at first and second, and the pitcher spot coming up. Let's see. Oh, I took out the pitcher batting card at some point. Um, well, we've got this young batter on the bench here, Mike Greenwell. Let's see what he can do. Runners at first and second. Two runs in, two runs on. Um... Oh, yeah, and there's still just one out. All right. Four, 41. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> there will now be three outs. Uh, as Greenwell will ground into the four, six, three double play. But the Sox do put two on the board. And let's see if they can close it down again. Here in the bottom of the 10th. Um, I guess we will go with Steve Crawford, uh, who did have four saves on the season. Take number two on shutting things down. Uh, and he will have his hands full as the three, four, and five batters are due up. So the heart of the order for the Astros up to bat here. All right. Uh, Garner is uh, 0 for 4 on the night uh, with a strikeout. Crawford kicks and delivers. 485, or, uh, yeah, 485 is going to be a fly out to center field. One down. Base is empty for Glenn Davis. And oh, it's going to be another rare play. 5-0-1. Oh, All right. This time I will remember to turn off the rare play chart. All right. 5-0-1. Oh, or that'll bring us to the normal rare play chart. Uh, and we get a, a one eleven. Uh, let us see. Hard ground ball to flex off the pitcher's leg. Uh, fielded by the second baseman who throws on to first for the out. All right. So we'll score that a 1-4-3 at a home, but nonetheless, gets the out. And now that'll bring up Kevin Bass. Two out, base is empty. Two run game. Crowd on its feet. Can Crawford get the final out of the night? Uh, let's see, 390. Oh my gosh. No, uh, that is going to be a home run. For Kevin Bass, 399, smokes one long, deep, and out of here. Whew, thankfully, nobody was on base. All right, so now a one-run game. Here comes Jose Cruz. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> we just need one out. Come on. 283. Oh my gosh, 283 is going to be a deep drive. <laughs> Cruz's power is a five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, let's see. Oh no, was it? Uh, oh, uh, to uh, right field, right? No, two. It was in the. Um, 
Yeah, right field, darn. So it's gonna be a single, all right. So, tying run at first, winning run. <laughs> Coming up to the plate at Alan Ashby. Oh my gosh, and I forgot to turn it off again. All right, there we go. Sorry, guys. Um, all right, Alan Ashby coming up. Oh boy, Ashby uh, had a pretty good night. He has a single. Uh, oh, he had that batter's interference, of course, uh, with the bases loaded uh, and has walked twice. A big at-bat here. 260. Uh, let's see, versus the switch is going to go 540. Uh, oh, I think that's going to be an out. Uh, so to the second baseman, to Marty Barrett, 540 is going to be a ground out to second. Barrett has it, throws on to first for the final out. Woo! Oh, my goodness. There we go, and finally, your final <laughs> from the Dome is Boston 5 and the Astros 4 in 10 innings. Wow, uh, so I guess it would be Stanley is going to get the win <laughs> after he blew the save. Uh, Crawford will get the save, uh, and the loss is going to go to Lopez. Oh my goodness. Um, all right, guys, so that is going to do it. Uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in, uh, for sticking with me for our first look uh, at season ticket baseball. Uh, if, you, um, if you like what you see here, uh, again, you can download everything uh, that I showed you tonight for free uh, as a PDF. Uh, and then uh, if you like, there are other seasons available uh, that you can purchase uh, as a PDF. There are a couple printed seasons available as well. Uh, really fun stuff. Really easy game to, uh, to get into. Uh, great work by Clay. And Clay, thank you again for uh, um, popping on tonight. And, uh, oh, and for becoming a new subscriber and a new member of the channel. So, uh, all right, guys, that is going to do it for now. Um, I'll see you Friday as uh, Baseball Week continues. Um, we'll be bringing uh, Bat Flip onto the channel, uh, the, the full version of Bat Flip. Um, but we will definitely be bringing uh, Season Ticket Baseball uh, back to uh, the table uh, at some point. So uh, that will be it for tonight. Hope everybody has a wonderful evening. Um, please hit that like button on your way out. Uh, Subscribe uh, if you uh, if you haven't already, and if you'd like to become a member, uh, you can click the join button down below for more details. Um, all right, guys. My name's Steve. Get out there, have fun, play games, and I will see you after further review. Have a good night, everybody.